So I don't know if you're like me, but I have projects that I sometimes start and don't finish until a while later. And earlier this year, I pulled all the plants and the dead tree out of this garden bed. And today is finally the day that we are going to fix it and get new dirt. This trailer has a, a load of dirt in it and the back of my truck's got some dirt in it and the new tree as well. So going to get all the dirt moved in here. We want to mound it up a little bit and make it look a little bit nicer and not just kind of a flat look like it has now. So I'm going to bring in some dirt and get it ready to go and then we'll put the tree in. And when we get to that point, I'll show you what the tree is, tell you a little bit about it and yeah. Should be good. Hopefully we'll get it all done tonight. We'll see. Now that is some good dirt. Uh, I really like what we picked out here dirt wise. It's a combination of topsoil and sawdust and compost and manure to make a really nice garden mix. And that's all mounted up here, two yards, all there. And I went a little heavy because I know it's gonna settle. And I did my best to just kind of um, walk on it, even my son helped me, we walked on it, just kind of tried to compress it down the best we could, put some water on it throughout the way, and really just tried to shape it as I went, and I think it turned out really nicely. Now a very wise person once said that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the next best time is today, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to allow this to continue to settle and I built it up a little higher on purpose so that it could do that. And we're gonna plant the tree with it and the tree is gonna settle down with the soil. And this is what we're going with. It's pretty much the same thing that we had. This is a snow fountain cherry tree. Actually got it on sale, which is pretty cool. 20% off for the end of the season. So win, win. But we'll bring a tarp over and we'll dig out about twice as wide as the root ball here as the container. We'll go about twice as wide and we'll go about as deep as this is and then we'll stick it in there and backfill it and um, give it some water and go from there. And just like that, we have a new tree and I just passed inspection. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and get out of here. It looks like a storm's on the way in. I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but a little storm coming in. It's starting to pick up the wind and might rain a little bit. So perfect timing. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one. I am going to probably do another video on how I'm gonna fertilize it and water it and just kind of take care of it for the first year or so. That's usually how it goes with trees, to get them on a schedule and to get them rooted and established. So we get to start that fun process, but I'm really glad that this is done. I think it looks really nice. We're gonna get some tulips in here. We're gonna get all kinds of things in here. My wife has it all set up so that all of our garden beds and everything, there's always something 
blooming throughout the year, which is so fun. So make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel that you consider subscribing and follow along to see how we do here. And hopefully this one survives a little longer than the last one. So I think the last one we had for hmm, somewhere more, a little over five years probably. So we'll see how this one goes. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.